Hi guys, in today's video I would like to show you this IoT device that I have developed that uh, allows me to call an elevator with the Android app or uh, by voice via my speech recognition AI that I have developed. So this is what it looks like. And uh, now let me demonstrate uh, how it is called uh, with the Android app later uh, by a voice and also I will uh, explain how it is done and how it works briefly. So let's get started. So first let me demonstrate this Android app. When it comes to voice activation of this elevator, it is bilingual, it understands Slovak and English. So first, let me demonstrate the Slovak version. Privolaj Vítěh. And the second voice activation is in English. Call elevator. So when it comes to this speech recognition AI, what it does, it uh, converts speech to text and then uh, the recognized text can be sent to other applications or other devices. So first, uh, what you need to do, you need to click on this training data tab and uh, record some uh, words uh, and create some database. So I've uh, recorded uh, several samples uh, of uh, call elevator command and also the same in Slovak and uh, also I've recorded some uh, artifacts, some random uh, voices and noises uh, and sounds that should be ignored so uh, the neural network should learn to ignore several sounds so uh, in this train AI tab, you can uh, see the summary of the vocabulary and uh, over here you can configure the topology and then you can hit the train button and when the neural network uh, is trained, uh, so when it has a uh, really low uh, a training error uh, such as like uh, one or two percent or so, then you can consider it uh, as trained and you can uh, stop the training. And lastly, in this settings menu, you just need to list uh, all the voice commands so uh, that when they are uh, recognized, uh, all the message is forwarded to the particular device. In this case, uh, when it is, uh, uh, when it detects uh, call elevator or, or the same phrase, uh, in Slovak, it is forwarded uh, to the ESP8266. So that's it. You can modify the IP and the port. And uh, after you uh, configure your uh, word routing, then you can click on the speech recognition and uh, this AI uh, will listen to your voice commands. So that's it. When it comes to this wiring diagram, I've used this step down module to get 5 volts from 24 volts in my case and uh, this linear regulator to get 3.3 volts uh, for this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and 5 volts is for this STM32 board that has uh, its own internal 3.3 volt regulator 
and also 5 volts is for this relay. So it's quite simple when it comes to this wiring diagram. And uh, I've copy pasted plenty of code from my previous project. So it is quite uh, familiar if you watched my previous video. So you still need to hard code your uh, Wi-Fi credentials over here and here and also down here and uh, this uh, STM32 board uh, is in this case uh, uh, bilingual so it understands uh, the English term of elevator and also Slovak term so uh, that's it this is the only command uh, that uh, it understands and uh, if it is received uh, it uh, calls the elevator and uh, also uh, this is project that uh, is supposed to run forever so just to be sure uh, i have a reset counter that uh, counts up uh, to 24 hours in seconds and afterwards uh, it is automatically restarted and this way uh, i just ensure that uh, Wi-Fi module as well as STM32 are uh, reset and uh, it, it prevents uh, freezing uh, of the software. It doesn't matter which one, but uh, it is a safety feature. And also this uh, Android application, it's uh, quite simple. You just need to uh, change this uh, IP according to your own uh, IP of the ESP8266. And as you can see, I just uh, use these four lines. So uh, this is for the network uh, strict policy. Uh, in manifest uh, file, you just need to uh, add uh, internet permission and that's it. And uh, there's just a sing uh, single button. And when you click, uh, click on it, uh, you just uh, send uh, this elevator string to the server. So Android Studio application is simple. This is the same uh, as previous project, more or less. So uh, it's quite similar. And uh, then I've just uh, connected uh, all the hardware uh, to this elevator circuit. Over here, uh, here's the power supply, 24 volts. And uh, down here, uh, Here's uh, here are the wires for the switch. So, oh, and over here, here's the three D printed uh, case with the circuit inside. So it's uh, it was quite simple project, and uh, it's really useful. So you can call your elevator ahead. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.